Following a quiet spring with no high school baseball action, Bob Seen Park could soon be a busy place once again. Lieutenant Governor John Husted recently announced that non-contact sports could return on May 26th. That would give more than 500 local Class B players a chance to take the field to play a shortened season beginning in June. We were waiting on is to see what the protocols were um, handed down from the governor and we were actually uh, pleased to see that um, they were a little bit more lenient than I expected. But the protocols that are in place will be strictly enforced throughout the ballpark. There will not be a limit to the number of spectators, but social distancing of at least six feet will be mandatory. Plus, the wearing of facial coverings will be required for all coaches, players, and spectators alike in order to be allowed into the complex. Anytime anyone's at Bob Seen Park, they should have a mask on unless they're one of the nine players in the field uh, or the kid up at bat. You know, I don't know how the kids are going to feel about wearing masks when it's 90 degrees, but it's just something that's just going to have to be done. Ruark says policing these protocols will be difficult, but will start with the coaches. Strict rules include no spitting, chewing of gum, or sharing equipment. The number one thing is safety, Chad. We're not going to we're not going to change that um, just for just for them to get out and play baseball. But on the other side of that is, you know, what a great feeling it would be to be outside, you know, where you're getting your vitamin D. And, and, you know, you're helping different things and you're feeling better. It makes people feel better. For Sports Team 27, I'm Chad Krispinski.